The point Jason Kelsey is making is that the rule itself, like if we look at the whys and the wherefores, that's how my wife first couched it all when deflate gate happened. Well, what's the issue? Well, they, they think they took air out of the footballs. Well, why would they do that? Well, it makes it easier to grip. Well, what does that do? Well, it makes it easier to throw. Well, isn't that what they want? I mean, at a time when we're focused on nothing the passer calls, as you refer to them, yeah. everything that the NFL is doing to goose offense, why the hell do they care about some numbers that somebody pulled out of the air, no pun intended, when they made the rule book? Nobody knew where that rule came from. When I was writing Playmakers and I was trying to drill down on what happened with the Flategate, nobody knows where the 12-5 to 13-5 range came from or why those numbers were set well no it's usually because the size of a football you get to any ball like you go wait this is playable this works here this is what it is right I mean I don't know why is a basketball goal 10 feet I, I don't know I didn't look at the research it is that's what it is that's what's in the rule book you don't get to skirt the rules I love the Kelseys. I've known them for a long time, and I know that that is some of the dumbest shit I've ever heard from oh, Jason no. Kelsey. I'm no, sorry. No, no, no. What? I I'm just it. sorry. I mean, what do you mean? We're going to just change the rules? Why? Because Tom Brady was having trouble throwing the football at the time. He was the worst down-the-field thrower in the game, so he changed it. And wait, the size of the football does matter. Then, damn, let's just use the college ball. Use the high school ball. Let's just have Mahomes stand on his knees and just throw 100 yards. The hell with, like, you don't need to do anything. I mean, that that makes no sense. So there was a part of that. And, you know, the balls came out at, like, 15 different rates, right? Because somebody went in real quick and was like, oh, no, they're on to us. Let me put the needles in. They didn't go. And on a 58-degree night at kickoff, like, come on. That was that, – that, no, that was integrity of the game. He took it into his own hands. That was a BS move by Tom Brady. And 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 there is a reason it's like that because you get a competitive advantage that the other teams do not have. There's you would talk to coaches in football, they'll tell you there's a reason New England didn't fumble for that period of time very much. They all think that's part of that issue right there. But Brady took the rules of the league into his own hands and said, I'm gonna change them because I don't like it. I'm not playing the way I want to. And that's BS, and I'll never back down from that. Unfortunately, we don't have enough time to really get into this way I'd like to, but I'll agree with you on this. Number one, something was going on. Right. Something was going on. And Tom knew about it. And Tom's story about his phone, that's all crap. Exactly. Tom was busted for a broader scheme that the NFL failed, I believe, failed I they were to adequately and right. properly prove because – they started at the end and they worked backward, like all bad scientists do. We start with the end that we want and we work backward to justify it. That's not good. If you want integrity, there's no integrity in your investigation if you do that. There were so many flaws, but they wanted to nail the Patriots. They knew that he did it. They wanted to prove that he did it. And I think that the issues with the phone, to me, are far more damning than the way they went about doing it because they weren't really looking and they weren't really into it. And they, they had the issue with the two needles and Walt Anderson said, I think I used that needle, but they disregarded his recollection of which needle we used because the other needle led to the better numbers and let them say that they had gotten the smoking gun. The whole thing was a mess. It was a mess. And then the PS as explained in playmakers, they did spot checks the next year. They kept all the numbers in a vault and they destroyed all the numbers because the thinking was, the numbers kind of show that it was a mess with our investigation. But with all that said, I agree with you. They had a system, I believe, for deflating the footballs. Tom knew about it. The I always destroy my old phone when I get a new phone is caca, in my opinion. And yeah, let alone there was 70 the something the texts to the ball boys when they're about exactly. to be interviewed. The deflator. And, the deflator. And we have, we, again, I'll say my old famous line we found Saddam Hussein in a hole in Iraq. We haven't found those two ball boys yet. That's all I'll hey, say. Hey, <laughs> hey um, okay, we got to take a break. Yeah. And, and, the question of whether the rule should exist is different from whether yes, or not the rule, right. if it exists, should be respected. Right. Regardless of why or what? Yes. It did. It did. And they broke it. Right. And he knew he was breaking it. Exactly. And 
And, and I'm not I, is, Jason Kelsey. I he knows I like him. I'm just giving yeah. him crap. I would love to come on there and argue that with him at some point. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.